Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of uh, The Daily Debate. My name is Ahmed Nader and today we'll be focusing on uh, the efforts of uh, the Egyptian state and uh, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi uh, of uh, development uh, or for development here in the country in the past few years and of course uh, the upcoming plans for the government and uh, for the leadership in developing the country and of course for combating terrorism as well as we did see the success of the Egyptian state in uh, combating and eliminating terrorism in Egypt under the tenure of uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. And uh, tonight I'm honored to be having with me in the studio engineer Hassan Shaban, the political analyst. Engineer Hassan Shaban, thank you very much for being with us today on the Daily Debate. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We will be starting straight away with a report about the latest efforts of uh, the Egyptian state uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and the government in combating terrorism and developing Egypt. So let's see it. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said that the fight against terrorism would not end without popular determination, adding that he wanted the nation's purpose of to be eradicating terrorism and prioritizing Egypt's interest. President al-Sisi highlighted in a statement on his official Facebook page on Friday that the vital role of the army and that the army plays in the fight against terrorism saying that the army was the stumbling block that holds the ambitions of the militias. He said that terrorism was still trying to hijack the country, but the leadership was resilient, fighting back with all of its might. In an official statement issued by the General Command of the Armed Forces on Friday, the Armed Forces said that it had destroyed terrorist, dozens of terrorist hideouts and killed 118 Takfiri elements in North and Central Sinai during its operations to eliminate terrorism in all strategic directions in the country in the past period. The armed forces added that an army officer and nine soldiers were killed and injured during these operations. <laughs> 